Welcome to part two of the talk on walk planning for Ipswich Ramblers. Um, software tools and GPS. And my contact details. In part one we created a walk plan and that's in Google Earth. Here's the plan we created and we need to save that. Okay, save places as. Change KMZ to KML, that's fairly important. There's one I made earlier, let's resave it. And we've saved it in KML format, which is Google Keyhole Markup Language. Now, most GPS receivers don't understand that, so we need to convert it. And GPS Babel is brilliant for this. It's a free download, and there are versions for Windows, Apple Mac, Linux. Let's grab the Windows version, save it. and install it. And I'm going to do a completely standard in installation, accept the agreement, which of course I've read very carefully. Let's have a desktop icon. And there it goes. And there it is running. We have a problem because there are hundreds and hundreds of formats for every known GPS receiver and bit of track log software. If you go into File Preferences, Formats, you can get rid of them all and then put back in the one or two or three that you need. Now we need the Google Keyhole Markup. There it is. Um, I'm going to add Garmin GDB because I've got some Garmin software that uses that format and GPX XML uh, most GPS software GPS devices will understand the GPX format including my own GPS receiver so that's quite nice and we've now got three choices up here which is more manageable so let's start with KML Keyhole Markup Language. Choose a file. So Rambler's Plans, there's the walk we planned earlier. And I'm going to copy that. Paste it there. Get rid of the quote marks, for some reason it doesn't like them and change that to GPX. Click OK and it says translation successful. Now the GPX file, I can load that into my GPS receiver. So we finish with that. Let's get a file explorer on the screen. And there's the GPX file. Copy it. Let's find the Garmin device. There is a slight problem. I've unplugged it. chat amongst yourselves for a moment. Okay. 
Okay, that'll be ready any moment now. We should see it come up on the screen. While that's happening, here's a photo which I took earlier. So I'm using the Garmin E-Trex 20. And there's the GPS cable plugged in at the back. And there's a walk I uploaded earlier, that's the one we planned. There's the cricket pitch. And you can follow that live on the screen while you're doing the walk. And there it is. So in the Garmin folder, there's a GPX folder and we need to paste the walk in. I'll replace the one which I had earlier. There it is. And once that's loaded into your GPS receiver, you can follow it. Uh, you can reverse the process. So, GPX current. And that can be loaded into Google Earth. Let's just cancel it and do it the other way. So you go file open. There's Garmin, there's GPX, there's current. Change that view to GPX. So this is the most recent walk. Create KML line strings. And you can now get an insight into my darkest secrets. So I went for a random short walk there. If you've done a walk and recorded the track, you can then load it into Google Earth and process it afterwards. I went for another walk in Wayland Wood. There's the path, properties. Okay, it's complaining about that. Sometimes you can get the mileage, sometimes you can't, it depends. Um, Google is a bit funny about loading GPS and GPX files from sat-nav receivers. And you might need some other software first to convert the format properly. Okay, that's job done. Discard that. Thank you for listening. Good planning.